We, uh, we want to talk a little bit about what's next for you too. You know, as we have talked about on the show for quite a while, your contract was coming due on Valentine's day of this year, and you were not able to record. So we've missed a few weeks, but we saw you back in Greensboro. Did right. they just extend your, your current deal for the time no, we, you missed? We, we, or we wrote you... a, we wrote a, we wrote a new deal. All right. I love to hear that. We wrote a completely new deal, no extension, new contract. Uh, and it was part of the quickest, easiest negotiation that I've ever done in my career, 50 years. And that's all because of Tony Khan's uh, commitment to me as a broadcaster. And he's always been a fan of my work, which I, it really helps your, your cause when your boss is a fan of your work. Yeah. It never hurts anything. So, uh, that's, you know, we've got a, we got a new deal and, uh, I'll be back. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. I'll be back to do, uh, more, more work. I I'm assuming it's going to be centered around the pay-per-views that we're having. We're adding more pay-per-views. There's going to be more big events. I assume at, as I said here, that those big events will be the pay-per-views and I'll be involved to some degree in those. So uh, time will tell. We'll see. I'm here. I'm getting better. And, uh, uh that will work for me. If it's, I'm working the, just the pay-per-views and I'm very happy to do that. So, uh, it's just a matter of getting, getting back in the game, Connie and, and, and playing. Give me a, give me a, give me the playbook and let's go, let's go play. So listen, I'm glad you're back with AEW, uh, on the new contract. I mean, is this, you don't have to share all the details, of course, but are you there another year, another six months, another two years? Can you share? I think we've got, I think we're down for another year. Okay. All and right. That's plenty. That's plenty. I'm happy with it. I'm, the negotiations, as I said, were smooth and quick. Uh, Tony Khan stepped up, uh, term wise, financial package wise, everything was to my liking. I was very blessed to be working with Tony on that deal. He wanted me signed. He got his man and I got my company. So it's all, it all worked out real well. And I'm, I'm, uh, I know that, uh, as time goes on, uh, my contributions will still be felt, which is something I'm really looking forward to contributing to. As you should, I am uh, absolutely pumped, uh, to see exactly what happens. And in, in AEW, I'm going to be paying close attention to that April pay-per-view and that May one's going to be here before you know it. And we've all got all in circled. It's going to be a fun year in AEW, but now we're going to talk about what else we've missed because Lord have mercy. The wrestling industry has changed a little bit since you and I got together, Jim, the biggest story perhaps in professional wrestling is Vince McMahon gets sued. Brock Lesnar disappears. Johnny Ace turns on Vince. It feels like Vince is on the outside looking in since you and I have made plans to record this week. He sold over $400 million worth of stock this week. Goodness gracious. What, what do you make of all this Vince McMahon news across the aisle? So to speak, lots of change afloat. And personally, I'll be glad when that, that change is the winds that swept that change on through. I'm tired of it. It's uh, embarrassing in a lot of ways, uh, that has happened this way. It's affected a lot of innocent people. I'm a, that's my take on it. I might be wrong. Uh, but, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's time to move on. It's time to move on and, and, and cause some, uh, rest and, and a peace for some people, but it's time to move on in my opinion. And, uh, I just never believed that Vince would allow his company to get this out of control <clears throat> and it, and it has, and I feel badly about that because I know how much the WWE meant to Vince. I'm sure it still does to some degree. So, uh, in any way, anyway, I just, it's time. Let's go. Let's move on. Let's, uh, let's rewind it and, and uh, cast the, cast the, the hook in the water one more time and try to see if we can't catch something more positive. How do you think this affects Vince McMahon's legacy in professional wrestling? Well, it'll, it'll affect it to some degree, but not, uh, it won't be, uh, earth, earth chatter, earth shattering. It won't be a big. Size, seismographic change because he's still Vince McMahon and he still built this amazing company that 
that many of us in different forms of pro wrestling are still celebrating <clears throat> and still playing off of. I just think it's time for all of us to move on and, and, uh, and, and find happier days and, and build from there. Uh, but you'll never be able to take away from what Vince built and uh, how he's helped a lot of people. I mean, a lot of guys that are making a living in pro wrestling right now can look at it any way they choose, but if they're being realistic, uh, they look in the mirror and see Vince McMahon staring them right in the face because he was the catalyst that uh, created a lot of this change and the incomes going up and all those things. So, uh, I just wish it was over. I just wish we were moved on and, and all these issues were settled and, and we moved, we had moved on to happier days because I think that's what the business and the world needs is happier days. And, uh, still get that with the, the old WWE memories. At least I do. I'm very thankful. I had a chance to work there. I'm even more thankful. I have a chance to work for Tony Khan now in AEW. <clears throat> so it's all good, man. It's all good. Conrad. I'm, we have to build on the positives and that's what I'm trying to do at my stage of life and my health situation. It's, it's important for me to build on the positives and that's what I'm trying to do. It's really exciting to think about all that's happened just since you and I recorded, because I'm just realizing not only did the Vince stuff happen, but the whole rocks return happened. I mean, Cody Rhodes won the, the Royal rumble. It felt like we were going to get a rematch for him and Roman reigns. The rock comes back. Maybe we're thinking he's going to hand that spot off. And now I guess the rock has turned heel and it, it's, it's been a lot of twists and turns. I know we don't talk about what's going on on raw a bunch, but I know the rock is somebody who you hold in high regard. You helped yeah. put the guy in the wrestling business. And now he's a member of the board for TKO and, and, and help probably land WWE this multi-billion dollar deal with Netflix. What do you think of, uh, the rock throwing his hat back in the wrestling ring? I'm proud of Dwayne. I really am. He's smart. He, he has a good sense of, uh, his surroundings. Uh, his influence is going to be held and heard forever. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that Dwayne's doing as well as he is. I'm not mad at him. He's trying to sell pay-per-views folks. Simple as that. He's trying to create an interest so that you and I will be happy that we invested in this next pay-per-view event that he's promoting. So, uh, and that's where I leave it. Uh, he's, uh, I, I'm always going to be a Dwayne Johnson fan. Uh, and that may not make some people happy, but you know, when you sign a guy and you recruit a guy and you're with him from day one, uh, you have a different relationship than, uh, than, than normal. So, uh, I'm a, I'm a rock fan for life and unabashedly so, uh, and I don't, I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to sell. He's trying to monetize his presence on this next pay-per-view event that, uh, WWE will be presenting. WrestleMania. 